from boxing is the last guy. You do you good? Kuboa one. Kupow! By the way, na kuaje? In Billy O'Clock. Shukran sana kwa box pata ya interview. Jasiri wea, unapata hii look. Get soup tapped. Pale sasa Molmoy Avenue. Wapata look amazing kama hivi. Look ambayo unapata ya confidence. Na unapata na mtu kama kwa box. Uwafanyi interviews by the way. Lakini, Billy O'Clock ime mtafuta. Mepeja na igumzo. Tapata kujua mengi zaidi ambana fanyika. Ana date. Nani na je? Aneze na mimi deti. Katika first impression kama hii. Find out kwa Billy O'Clock. Subscribe kwa YouTube channel. Alafu kwenye Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Usawu kufollow buwana. Kwa piku tena zaidi. Acha movie anze. Inakuwa aje wasei wa Billy O'Clock. Thank you so much for tuning in katika Billy O'Clock. Buwana ye, usawu kusubscribe pale chini. Siyo? Alafu kwenye Instagram, Facebook na Twitter. Buwana ye. Billy O'Clock pale unafollow, unalike na unajua kuniendaje. Bwana eh, kuna mtoto fulani amazing sana ambaye ni sensation ya social media. Yule kana kama kwa box. Ukipenda shila kwa mboka ama kwa boxing is a lifestyle. Sijui ni nini. Hakuna kitu kwa uli mwengo ambaye hajaifanya. Huyu ude mazeni hapa. Ude mamika katika BBA mbili. <laughs> mazee ude mazee ku dance inadaiwa ana dance ku madem unajua yani leo hii yale maswali yote ambayo unajiuliza kuhusiana kwa box inakuwa tunajibu hapa hivi katika bill your clock yani nasha kwa paka mistourism amefanya kazi K24 omera kwa box mm-hmm. angoma po kitimo <laughs> eh na mungu <mbo> yaki <laughs> yeah oh that was a crazy intro like any correction mimi si rapper mm-hmm. there's a rap lakini mimi si rapper hebu rap hebu rap rap Rap. One, two, three. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> no, another time. But uh, thank you so much for having me here. Yeah. yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm great. Uh, amazing. Thank you. Thank you. The last time I checked, you were on the one. Yeah, maze. You can do standard maze. You may be the one who can do 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 the one who can Hakuna malojaishi hapa Nairobi kwa box. Yaani umemove sana. Hebu mm. nielezee story yako kumove a lot. Eh si, wacha nikwambie. Unajua hapa Nairobi, you kwanga place. Yaani you come to grind and then you unakufia ushago. Yeah. Tukao jai visit. <laughs> Wale wanyo nasema you can go to shags. Uh-huh. Every day you wone paluta enda. Utapele kwa huko. Utapele kwa unless watu wako mkataa, taachwa hapa langata. No. But um, so my parents, you know, met here in Nairobi um we lived here but um we did have a lot of challenges growing up um especially after my brother was born uh, my brother is autistic the guy who follows me so he suffers from a condition called autism and uh you know for 10 years my parents were taking him to hospital at Mpisha and uh he was doing treatments every week and they were treating him for the wrong thing Wow. Yeah. So it being expensive. Yeah, because they didn't have insurance. So it was, you know, every single penny we had was going towards, you know, physio for for him. And so we we were constantly there's no landlord who liked us. We were constantly being kicked out. Um I remember there's a time in South Sea, I think I was in form three or something. Yeah, so that was the year Aliyah died. Mm. And uh we had to auction. Have you ever auctioned your your furniture to your neighbors? neighbors not those shy local yeah guys. you're telling your neighbor to come and check out your tv your table it was crazy it was it's a, it's, it's such a painful experience but um i mean we had so many of those so we kind of got used to it so ilikuwa kama kawaida yeah yeah i mean uki kuhama ilikuwa tu yani ilikuwa tu kitu ya kawaida and even in my life right now um uh, when i'm when i'm living in Nairobi because i don't have my own place here i nikiboeka na but you learn don't don't say mommy me me by then man siko and i'm moving and i don't mind moving because i've got enough formula we've done it more than 20 times so <laughs> kind of got it on lock yeah pasta, 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 chap chap is kwa gina shida mm. yeah kwa box upaki makeup yani why uh i mean yeah ni mtakani came to una natakani kai nani ndio mnikubali See ndio sura ya this my face this my face you know i i i find okay um I don't have a problem with makeup. I mean, I was a model, but I don't know. I I'm 
okay with my face. I like my face. Yeah. So I'm not trying. I'm not trying to like hide anything. But you don't hate people more on a Absolutely style. not. I mean, I like I said, I was a model, right? Um, after mysteries, I did a, a lot of modeling, so I just I, it's just not my thing. Yeah. You've done a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. Because a basketball. Yeah. Basketball. Basketball. I played so in, in school I used to be very active. Like I've always been an you know an active kid. And then but I, I didn't really want to play in school, but I did. I did a bit of football here, basketball here. And then when I finished high school, I went, uh, well, I'm waiting to, to figure out what I was going to do next. I started playing basketball uh, for NPC. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I joined the league. So that's how I, I ended up playing in the league. Um, but then when I joined USIU, I had aspirations of switching to a USIU team. But then I became Miss Tourism. So I can be a basketball. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. And, and how I even got into that is because I wasn't looking to be a model. I would never thought about it. But like I'd hurt my knee. No job basketball na kwanga. I love for insurance. But you kuchiza, you kuchiza games kwa hundu juu akuna insurance was. Ni wewe na wewe. Ni wewe tu. Ukiumia ndio ile siku na jua. Mzazi na kwanga live anakuambia ati utapone hapo kwa nyumba. So well that was happening. Um it wasn't really a, ma a major accident. It's just my knee had uh, twisted normal common problems for basketball. Nika mom, my mom came home and she was like, "Hey, Conditions are tourism, the mysterism. You have to go. You can't just be wasting your height here for, for, for <laughs> pointing and telling us Nani and Akam Kabla to Jamona. You know, so she was like, you know, let me try modeling. And no. so I actually did it for her. For, for your mom? Yes, I had never walked in heels. I had, you know, all those my outfits that I had to. She took it seriously. She was like, in your outfit, shutting. And there's a, you know, and so. And you won. Yeah, and it was a crazy story because someone stole my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> right as we are going on stage, Maze. Unagalapa Nasayo ni the day. Now wow. this is a competition. See at let us ill dress ya blue na ile akuna. Ulifanyaje. See, I mean ilika to wapo sani kijua sa akuna competition. Yeah. But then one designer there had some extra clothes and all of them fit. Wow. And I ended up winning. Yeah, so imagine ulem to mwenya lini biangu yoki wa ruinya na skia sai. Yeah. yeah, so. Any villagers of Walonesh were in the Imagine. Sure. It was crazy. Now say you were Mzazi, I mean, only a ticket kill and it was a KCC. Now ticket, a moja poly was 4K. I mean, only a mabeste wake water, my sisters, my aunties, that are all friends when you will watch an hour friendship. Eh, let's make condition to what my daughter is doing. Eh, and Kashinda Mazi. So, so like, will Shinda and you had a lot of uh, sponsorships, Nini, Matsu, Kibao, Ama. Watch any kwa me kuna demo japo ya na konga patent holder wa yo Miss Tourism uneza fikiri Miss Tourism ni ya ni ya nyumba yake. Eh? Miss Tourism ni ya ni ya Ashley's Kenya. Ah, wewe dema liko. Wewe dema nafata achuku hiyo kitu hichu kule kutoka kwake. Yeah, I said it. Anaitwaje Terry Mungai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alifanya nini? Mimi nimetoka. So when we when we did this uh, Miss Tourism, first full disclosure, she dethroned me. So I was dethroned. Ah. Um, a few months in. So what happened, I was in USIU at that time, and um, I mean, she had a lot of, you know, rules. Nisha kuambia what my background is. So, ukishinde kitu na kuambia, oh, you can't walk, you can't be a normal citizen anymore. Okay? You have to take taxis, you have to dress a certain way, and this costs money. Yeah. When we want that Miss Tourism, I can show you, she gave me a VHS camcorder. That it was outdated. VHS. What are your VHS? Nini? Na zikumbuka hizo. Yeah. Miss Kenya, Shamila, kitu alipatua siyo. Hakuna mtu alipata kitu ya maana. You know? Like amuna do. Hakuna. Alafu. That's not even. For me, I didn't have a problem with that. After I found out who she was, I was just like, look, I have an opportunity to impact lives. And that's what I've always been about. And I was like, you know, I told her my projects. We were talking about them when, before I became, before I won. And so when we won, Hai, na shina kuja kwa hii ofisi ya patao, Kimathi Street, hakuna kitu tunafanya. Tumekalishotu kwa ofisi, siju ya going for meetings, mepele kwa press conference, ingine hapo, live on a Saturday. Can you imagine a live press conference on Saturday? Mm -hmm. This means this, whatever is being discussed here, serious? Yeah. Tumepatua donor, siju which ministry, bla 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 bla, kufika kwa ofisi. Na sisi ndio hapo, tumeka hapo mbele, thank you so much, we are going to be collecting these, nini, nini. 
for office na uliza oh by the way now we do you start our project nambiwa this is to pay for the event imagine imagine and so I, I think for me you know me I'm that I'm, I, I've never been that person at uniambia at where ibuka hapo na unyamaze I'll be like sour but you in the boss of me so um you know just raising these concerns i think she she started to realize eh uyu uyu unaleta kichwa so you know what she did yeah. she just went to the newspaper and dethroned me so i found her just i was walking like to school and the newspaper girl over there kimathi we kuomboka kuja uone and i saw the newspaper page 4 page 5 they have been dethroned and that was it and she just said like gross that. misconduct na ndio juu lifanya nini yani hata sasa hivi mwambie afungue mdomo yake hapa atuambie ni nini nilifanya it's just that i decided small minds will never stop you from being what you need to be that's huge she decided to take money that was for work by the beauty queens to go and pay for her event surely i do events now i can tell you she clearly had, did not know how to manage her, 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 her resources how do you take the winnings nika watu waseme jackpot ya milioni moja alafu shine alafu safari kwa mikwambie ee sasa ni ya watu wote wenye walikuwa wanafanya campaign ndio wanalipwa are you yeah, mad no that's, that's so of course she dethroned me she made a whole thing about it house juara the, the the media is there for it but as soon as i started seeing that the narrative was already against me um my mom was ready to go to court she was ready to sue but you see now nimekwambia tuna yeah. background yetu pale tumetoka she was going to spend everything because for her This was so important. Yeah. But then I told her, um, mom, just forget about it. Bigger and better things are ahead, yeah. Imagine sani kikona pigania crown yenye hata si believe in. You just did it for the mom, you know. Imagine that you never Wewe jo mi, wewe jo mi stories mni nani wewe? You know, I don't need you to tell me I'm cute, I know. Yeah. I don't need you to tell me I'm beautiful. I know. I just needed the platform to further the agenda which was, you know, help same going on my stories as dream children's homes dreamy nini nini na ku impact lives our say yeah and i also really wanted to let people know about autism yeah and she decided to spend that money on her business ah my salons bado ziko kila pale naona zinashinda zikifunguliwa so yeah do to be you know what you did you know what you did she's seeing this right yeah, now she knows what she did She needs to respond. And she oh, I know she's going to respond. Guys, just be ready. She'll come for guys blazing. You will hear Kwan Box has been fired from. She will dethrone me from Vibes Radio. <laughs> Nobody can stop your destiny. Yeah. With mtu anakuja hapa anaanza kukuambia ati cheki utalala na mimi ama hii kitu hautapata. Ati cheki, hiyo kitu yako utalala nayo my friend. Si lazima. Si lazima. But there are people who fall for this and there's so many ladies. Soma, in fact, you're watching, yeah? Just Google and 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 the title see how many models have complained about her but you guys do nothing because if kitu ni a kenya lakini kwa sababu ndio franchise holder at a denial of nya tadil nayo and you guys do nothing that's enough to be yeah. like that mm. radio jani yako radio mazuri fanya interview mob sana mob sana na huko pata kunambia alafu day moja yani uka ukaenda ku interview ukapata job hebu nielezee hiyo story imagine Hey, that was a crazy story. Um and I hope someone um I like to tell this story so that you can encourage someone because a lot of people when they ask, "Eh, so you have job apo?" and I'm like, "Dude, do you know how many years? No jole lenia klepto jipe miaka ka nane." Ndo julikane. Bro, siko na joa hiyo kitu liko real. Uko jo ni mistari. Bro, bro, bro. Una jole hiyo paka unasema, "Ay, at least sai." Nimefanya big brother at least sai watanijua. Hey, what? Kuna kitu ka hiyo. We are, when when I tried everywhere and and when I look back I'm grateful that I didn't get those opportunities why because I wasn't ready I wasn't ready what was I going to talk about you know and radio for me is not about having a voice how many people have voices even my listeners call and I'm like damn bro you can take my job you know <laughs> but I I understand that radio is not just about having a voice it's about having an opinion it's about uh shaping conversations and at that point I was not ready to shape conversations because I wasn't ready to do a tea. This is the song that you're listening. Let's go. I don't want to do that kind of radio. <laughs> like I want to be able person. to yeah, I don't want to talk. I don't know. You don't want to be a nini, a sweeper. <laughs> If you know radio, you know what that is. I don't want to be a sweeper. I want to be able to bring my personality. I want to be able to infect people with with positive vibes and and by that at that point when I was trying to join radio, I'm going to take a sweeper, So uh 
it took me a really long time and all those interviews that i went for unfortunately there's no interview that i went to that taught me something people like and i think maybe this is a tip for guys in radio if you're going to call for auditions let someone know what they did or where they can improve or abcde yeah. because you find a lot of people can't get in because you do 10 interviews and you still don't know where you've messed up so i didn't know whether i was good i knew that a lot of top people here would call me come try radio i go for the interview mazini you want to suck ni kwanza kuna ngine shout out to ses mtungi kuna ngine hapo najua ses akitaka kunimaliza anaweza to to your pro maze maze so never give up guys never give up one day um even if i wasn't getting the radio jobs i i, w- I was committed I knew that one day uh, something will happen but I was so committed to just stay within the entertainment space I'd find other things to do which I was still passionate about so because radio is not just at Kongia kwa radio it it has so many facets to it and I was willing to say ah, okay hiyo mic bado iko tayari cha niende nianze kutafuta hizo zingine itakuja tu and it came in that space where nimefanya mziki nimefanya sijuini nimeenda interview hapo nimemaliza kufanya interview uh, um, shout out to John Rabak and Ita Kofisi akaniambia he should be on radio when do you want to start yeah and uh, and i was just like see god see god <laughs> yeah but i was at that point i was doing something for the nba where i was traveling across africa uh, discovering the history of basketball so when i came back and when i, go, I was like no saini kona job naenda pale alafu na nikimwambia ni kona hiki kingine atasema okay the opportunity is gone so i just i came straight forward i told him this is what i'm doing right now can i come back after a month he was like call me when you're back and i called and the very next week i was on radio alikuwa ndo ngapi ya kwanza kabisa sala yako ya radio as in my first job my first salon on radio yeah. it was 100k 100k yeah eh lakini nilikuwa na ile furaha nilifanyaje na ndo ya So, unajua, okay so, at that point nilikuwa nina nikona biashara yangu so radio was just at this point i was willing to do radio even without money ah. yes so i got in and i was like i knew i knew um, because when i was out there you know and when you're out there and i know a lot of people also go through the same thing you're like nobody knows my potential and you're like you just give me that opportunity to see what i can do and I changed my mindset. I was like, I'm not going to wait for anybody to give me an opportunity. I'm going to just even I'm seeing. Unajua niliomba watu mara ngapi nikamwambia cheki? Ni gigi guone. And guys are just like, you know, the client, um the client anataka na kina jalas, unajua venye anakuwa anajua tu DNG. Na sasa niko na DNG hapo na mabadi. Si niache tu nini ni onje hiyo mic dogo ni nuse tu, ni nuse watu wa juu. Sasa ma you know, mzee unajua venye tu mwanje safari kom, unajua atakangi maze. You guys are just like Goja tu. Just wait for my turn. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't sitting saying Goja. I went out and started my own event. I was mm-hmm. like, forget it. If you guys are not going to give me MC gigs, you will see me MC. And so you see like a lot of these people who come to industry night, they would come to Adra, Adra have events all the time. No. To show my talent, to show what I can do. I was earning any money from it. Dub it here and there, but it was more to put me out there yeah. so people can see what I can do. Um and it paid off. It paid off. Yeah. Box. Where are you <laughs> I'm not dating. Single. Yeah. It's Why? it's an easier life like that, Have you ever dated before? Hey, yeah. But life is easier when you're when you're just minding your own business. Like like aliku aliku disappoint. Apana. Disappoint ama tu ndio na tu. Tuli break up hiyo story liisha tu hivyo unajua irreconcilable differences. Uh but We, we 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 just unajua me what i tell people eh, uh-huh. is you you can be going in different directions and that's just the reality and you see a lot of people still trying to kuvutana ati one na api wako just ndio hivi eh na sio god amekuambia maisha yako inaenda hivi na wewe unaenda hivi kubali tu kuachana you know and mkam tapatana mbele well and good but that's exactly what happened tuliko tumefika place yani we are heading in different directions and that is still cold No. You tell me what. Tell me I'm in a different direction. <laughs> Where kwenda? Nisha kwa mbe wende wende. What we come back upon the issue na nse una date. And uh, people say that you dance to woo women. 
Wow. Like you dancing style na dance kwa uwe yani like mm. wakupende. Hiyo hiyo ni kweli. It's true. I mean if they say it now it must be true. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not true. Yeah, I I you know, I think social media is a place that if you list, if you really listen to what people are saying online, you can you can start to believe it, you know? I've read things about me online and I'm like, "Hey, nyae kwa box mbona kuniambia?" And I'm like, "Wait, you mean you're kwa box?" Um <laughs> I I my dancing is is something I do for fun and it's it, for me it's a it's a spiritual thing. I love to shake off you know as, when you see me dancing just know I'm having big problems yeah when i'm dancing i am trying to release something yeah when you see me doing kapao i'm fighting for my life and that's and that's that's the thing that i can't sit down and explain to you every single day that oh today i'm having a bad day today i'm having a good day today someone has pissed me off do you know um so for me the dance sort of helps me stabilize uh However I do it if it attracts ladies I mean what can I do I'm fine <laughs> <laughs> What can I do I'm fine uh, but also men I mean men are wood I'm pending the dance zangu mnataka nianze kutwak ndio mjue cheki it's saying about you it's about my life yeah it's about you yeah and and you find people tell me oh you know mazi squeeze your dancing sana mazi you just as gine life ushinga you know like that bully that yeah sometimes life wins and it's like okay the machine that leo that would get stronger yeah. so the dance for me is not it's i'm not trying to be a dance star that's not what i am i'm i'm not a dancer i just dance because i love to dance and it makes me feel good when i when i dance i feel for a moment that i mean i have nimeshikilia kinyi na nishikilia yeah so nika unapigana na sayo ndo unamwambia wewe yeah 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 alafu ukimaliza ku dance sana endelea kukuchapa Yeah. Are you wow. Would, would would if I say yes, will this story end? Because this is a chance. Yeah. Ya kwetu, because how dare you say ma kwamba no or yes. Wona ikwepa hivi. So Sijai kwepa. Ya ya wase kujua like we ni lele ama uko straight. You know? I'll be honest. I have answered this question 600,000 times. For real for real. And I've given the right answers. I've given all the answers. But still somehow it's not satisfactory. You get? This is the chance. This is build your clock. Yeah. So I have I have talked about this guys. Um first things first I don't even think we should be talking about this because I think if you had any other guest this wouldn't be a conversation. I mean people date all sorts of people but nobody asks that. But when it comes to me it's it's been a conversation and I promised my mom I'd never speak about it ever again because I have spoken about it even in the newspaper I've been very frank and I've said this I've said this I've said this but it won't be enough and even if I answer it here right now it still won't be enough so I choose not to answer it I I'd, I'd prefer you just have your question marks <laughs> <laughs> because if you don't yeah, answer yeah, it yeah. someone else will, will ask it's it again okay, and again it's okay it's okay let them again. Let them let them ask. You in fact it's usually I, I tell I tell a journalist if you ask that question I'm going to answer it but I you know Billy I'm just going to I I can't answer that question. The more even if I say no I say yes there will be stories so I I would rather just you say whatever you want to say don't say I said anything. So to back in up question. Yes yeah. yeah. Yo the yo can you not clear yo. Oh no naji. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ebu tuonge kusiana na social media trolls eh mm. a lot of guys they've given up yeah wana juzi mula mwa kicho mango yake mm. wengine wana go to depression let's talk about these trolls who unachukuliaje na hawa KOT unachukuliaje KOT si wachukulie KOT is a sick place of sick sick people sick individuals honestly there's a there's an environment there that of of i don't even know or pull me downs you know jo i've ever met pull me downs my dad used to tell me when you leave the village there's always that guy who's trying to you know it's like oh i'll talk aje kwa hii village lazima wakuvurute down it's 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 an african sort of mentality it it has it has a background in uh, slavery and colonialism it's a, it's a deep story but i find people social media gives people a platform to express themselves without expression then look at kenyans on twitter 
Is it me who has the problem? Or is it you who's tweeting who has a problem? You're expressing what's going on inside of you. Because if really you are okay, why would you need to pull? Why would I, like I'm easy, right? I finish my job. Right now I'm just thinking when the home was a star and be a final in the home. You think I really want to check at you what who's trending on Twitter? No. I'm only checking that when my show is not popping and I'm like, what you know, like when I want to find stuff. But like to sit there and be like, Billy has posted something. How can Billy post this? When you are doing it? No. The only person who speaks like that is someone who has got nothing going on in their life. So Kenyans on Twitter, that space is a, for me, if you ask me, I cry for help. There are a lot of people there crying for help. You've got so much negativity inside you, surely. What's going on? You can't, you can't, when, unless when you shetani, you can't survive like that. <laughs> You're just spewing. Mamba yako tunu fikiria. Billy ame piga picha hapa ameva jacket ya blue. Chali mgani hapa anava jacket ya blue bana. Baze ya zinata uwezi kwa na It's like, what the mother is going on in your life? Yeah, see. Yeah, you're, you're. Hiyo hata hata ukikatu na mamako mwambie mama unajua baby mimi uko anga internet unajua kwanza unajua unaona nimetukana bili hapa alafu juzi nilitukana unaona jo mimi ndio nilifanya hata mula mwaka kacho mashati yake oh si wewe nitambue bana mimi ni ule mbaya mzii i so uh, social social media gives people a platform to release what what they're thinking and i've seen a lot of that people have a lot of negative energy yeah, does it affect people yeah. Does it affect me? Of course. You see, you go there, you see someone has handicapped. Kwanza, nini watu? Mtanimaliza. Mtanimaliza. Kwamba ukisizo chingoza machali umeva. Chali yako, hizi ni ngoza chali yako. This is kwamboxing is a lifestyle. You know? Ini met ini metengeza as in the most comfy thing. Unataka ni vibe trousers hapa ni ban and you wanna rasa yangu ndo same. That is a woman. Oh damn ni. Only them. Yeah. Like anywhere I'm ever tracks with. Where can I need Charlie? I mean, some things are so ridiculous. You know, you you have to ask questions like, who are you first? Where am I even acknowledging your your nonsense? But sometimes some of those nonsense makes it through. Maybe you're not having a good day, and then you pick up your phone, you look, ah, you're like, you know. So it's a combination of things. Uh, sometimes I do shut them down. I'm like, yes, it's your it's your boyfriend's trousers I'm wearing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I feel bad when I say things like that because you're bringing me down to your level. Yeah. But some people need to be told, Mazi. muscles on Twitter. Eh? put down. And you, if you really dig deep, you find that that person really wants to be where you are. They want to people to look at them the way they look at you. And what I would advise someone like that, before you pick out, and I always tell guys, before you pick out your phone and you want to criticize someone, right? Me, I always, I love criticism. I'd rather criticism than stagnation. So the more you tell me stuff, especially if I have warranted it, see, I have to to criticism, keep your criticism to yourself. Um, the, if I warrant it, great. But a lot of people, you want to give criticism. Now, how would you take time could you criticize? Sasa yes. umefungwa mdomo hapo kuambia bili ati wewe kwani hii kazi yako na sasa huyu na kazi. <laughs> Surely. It doesn't make sense. It's the most ridiculous thing you've had. But that's what social media gives it gives everyone a platform to ameandika hapo captain of Kenya and the ndege kumbe ni anaendesha. So I love this. Movie. So yeah, so for me fighting with people online, when I need Jari Bwingi, I mean they are really trying. They are coming at me or they come at me all sorts of left and right directions. Um, but I, I try to stay away from no. reading comments and things like that. Yeah. Now, who nakatiwa kwa box? You wanaume wengi wana kuogopa because of your style. Like like even the environment, the way you walk, the way you dance, the way yeah. you talk, the way you do your things. Ina dawa wasiongo na kila mtu lazima jueleni yake. Unaelewa? Yeah. Lazima jueleni yako. Unajua kaa lion haizi enda kuenza ku attack giraffe. Unaelewa? Lakini lion ita attack antelope. Kwa lion inajua nikifanya girafa pro 
inasikia ni kabits <laughs> inasema my friend i have had elephants yeah. you understand but if you do that for an, uh, an antelope say oh my god so hiyo ni level ya hiyo lion yeah sasa ukipata na nasa tuseme a tiger in the jungle in his attack giraffe kwa sababu na giraffe itogopa hapo kwa sababu inaona this is my nini so if you feel like maybe i am intimidated then i'm not the one for you because i will never reduce myself to accommodate you just know that we kuja kuna them a lot of confident men out there great great, great super confident and yangalivya alafu anasema ati sasa huyu sasa umbona akai kadem mimi ni lebo madem wanavanga skirt na waongeangi no si kuongea na kunini nini there's so much more that goes on in life you know than the partnership how you're going to you know be with this person do you want me just to fit all the boxes i i i dress well i i i, I your mom says i'm the perfect kind of babe you know people tell me stuff like i don't i don't look like i can cook i understand you cook a lot my guy how i ni natengeneza dondio ni lete mtu akuje kunipikia no <laughs> that's the purpose of dating you date a chef but <laughs> if i <laughs> If I'm if I'm single, yes. I'm cooking for myself. What are you talking about? And I like cooking for myself. It keeps my house warm and it gives me something to do. And I eat, you know? I'm 35. What do you expect? Of course I know how to cook. Yeah, so kauna ni no no na mimi ko intimidate. I'm not for you. I beg. Moving moving forward. You need pick up line number she ku bo kabisa na msia na ku approach na ku bona pick up line trying to pick up line guy. There's so many. There's so many. Machali wa wa Instagram ana kuanga tu. Hi. Hey. 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 Kila siku atakutumia tu. Hey. Na sivi atakai. Hey. Yaani mpaka unamuliza as in you're seeing that one day I'm going to be like okay you know let me accept this request and just be like hey hey to you too. Mm-hmm. What are you saying homie? Your hey's are really getting it. But then me I can imagine ni me no you know so for me I like confidence. I like confidence. Like if you're confident you will you will knock me off my axis but if you're just at he kuja kuja ingia as do you say hey now when i'm tall najua i live with myself <laughs> i know american height zima zima in kenya you know so there's like just confidence confidence you don't even need to like think of do cool things to say it's just and i also pick up lines are ridiculous i think um bonding with someone over conversation um you know i really like great conversations so that's a, a good opener if we can be able to talk about things and especially things that are not at tea eh na uliona ile video ya bahati baby i'm not your i'm not your girl yeah i like to read a lot so nataka mtu mwenye anani challenge akili yeah ni kwa box by the way katika bill your clock ile kwa tunachukua mapumziko madogo alafu nampeleka date kwa mara kwanza. Wao mnasema hajapeleka date na mwanaume. Leo <laughs> hii katika bill of clock nampeleka kwa box date na ikiwezekana si confidence niko nayo, looks niko nao, thanks to Jasiri where wapate sasa mall pale, Moy Avenue, wapate look amazing kama hii hapa hivi. But how do I look on box? How do I look? You Mijani look ambia, good. Ata. You look good. You look good. You get someone like me. Ah. Wacha kuna kwa sports maze. <laughs> And they, you know I've dated I've dated I've dated short guys I've dated sh- like short like shorter cuz I'm 5'11 so anyone 5'11 and below is short you know so I've dated I've dated a guy 5'5 five, five. for real yeah and we've walked around together and holding hands holding hands and you know what he had massive confidence and then it turned into pompousness he was just a pompous diabs so I had to break up with him so but be, I've dated short guys tall guys I've yeah So be right to say that confidence turns you on. Confidence is definitely a deal uh, a deal maker. Mr. Taki at Impali tumeenda place na msi alafu tumepotea. Alafu nasema Tumepotea. Na yako. Eh, wacha nipigie mave. Ile got na rudi mtu sikao mrefu na kwa box nikimpeleka date bwana place nyingine amazing sana mbayo. Nataka kuleza mtu sikao mrefu ni wapi. Sende mbali.
Irekuaje si niku promise kwamba nampeleka date mtoto hivi. Yaani ukiifaja siri wewe ya confidence unaipata na mtu kama kwa box anaingia box unaenda naye date au vipi? Leo nitakujua anajua kushika uma na kiswa ma ni confidence tu ya kapao. Karibu wana katika Billy O'Clock Sauk subscribe kwenye YouTube channel yangu Billy Mia, Facebook, Instagram na Twitter. We follow pale vile unboxing. <laughs> Bwana mwanzo shukrani sana kunipa date sio? Yeah. Uh, uko fit lakini? Mimi niko fit. Uh-huh. Mm. So ati umeambia watu hapa si juu kula rafok na nani? Eh fok na na nini? Lakini unataka kuambia kitu. Eh. Hii story ya fok na nani ni ya uzungu. Uh-huh. Unajua kwa nini kusababu chakula zao ume umejaribu kukula mchele na mkono? Always. Exactly. <laughs> so lakini sisi hatukua tunakula mchele na nini nini? Kwa tunakula mandumani nini nini? Fok na nani ingia wapi hapa? Na sima. Exactly. Ina shule. Lafu mtu anakuambia ati ah you are, you are very unsophisticated I'm like you are very colonized. Unajua <laughs> kukutengeza <laughs> utonja alafu hey. kitu pale. So first I'm very disappointed because I've been going to plan to ende kula samaki ngali. <laughs> Menileta hapa mauzunguni eh? Lakini sawa. Hata usijali. Sawa tu. Hii ni good fire by the way. Ni tatukaiso sasa sasa jinaenda deep. Eh? Quick fire. Question 1. Uh-huh. If I give you 1 million, so it is close for me who you're dating. Will you do? 1 million Kenya shillings. Yes. So it is close kuna date nani sasa hivi? Tani utanionyesha? Mm, utabidi hata nianze kudanganya. Mm. Utanionyesha. I think so yeah. Mimi ni pia bon million you know bring it i show you like for it for it mm? two you say rudy apanti mzinyo wangu eh i think nda nda take break ya kula kula ndo tuske hizi questions <laughs> Tabidio swali urudie tena. Ushawahi kurudia panty your underwear. No, mimi si chali. Ah, uh, madam si sometimes ujipata kwa kwa date. Yeah, but you know you can also stay without. Oh, so one is end without. Yeah. What do you mean? Na yakatu kwa mfuko na unasema okay bye nimeenda. Na unaenda hivyo hivyo. Na nikiwa tapo na kwambia na uoshe. Uyanike. Narudi Thursday. <laughs> Sisi mauliza silikwambia basi. Have you ever had a one night stand? Hey, Jesus. Okay, yeah. Yeah, regrettably yeah. No, actually no. I ended up dating that person. Ah. Yeah, so we ended up dating. I think it was one of those things that you knew like do you This is the, you know, and then it wasn't like we had gone to a club or anything like that. We were actually it was terrible. It was set up. Now looking back it was set up it was going to happen yeah. <laughs> so it was a house date and yeah. yeah. But now I've reformed. Sasa mimi natafuta tu moyo wa Yesu. Moyo wa Yesu. Utaki tena mwingine. Staki mchezo. Between kissing a frog and being married to Timmy Tidat. Oh my god, let's get married Timmy, let's get married. <laughs> I have a phobia for frogs. A phobia. For real. For yeah, real. yeah, it's it's crazy. I I can't uh i like we i just recently last year found out where it came from but uh it's a dilabitating dilabitating yeah did i say it right dilabitating yeah no dilabitating it is it it basically i can't function when you see a frog yes yeah it's wow. it's bad in fact nowadays at least i'm trying to manage it because before even looking at a frog on tv oh, like like come to the frog the muppet yeah it was that bad um but then you know trig i i i understood where it started from here yeah. so what i can go kick his frog with a pata prince mimi si nisha kuambia site ni tida tu ya mama nisha muacha afanye vitu zake zote kasapon yeah nisa that's the day i'd rather we're married yeah yeah kabisa 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 deep and it's a cool guy like timmy nampenda eh yeah lakini na kila mtu anampenda as he Amejianika huko. Mira, si Adas Dani got team yako na shirts. Hakuna mm. wodrobe ya shirt. Hakuna <laughs> hayo. Like uh <laughs> You know you, you are so funny by the way. Really? Would you rather be dumb or ugly? Ugly. Kwa tu sura mbovu. Sura kiatu. Hakuna kitu kai ugly. 
look to right now to someone i'm ugly okay but i'd rather have my wits about me like because when you're when you're dumb you know you only have one thing going on for you so if, if like you can't be dumb and not good looking <laughs> you know that <laughs> but also but also i've i've realized being ugly is for you to accept because i've seen people who genuinely like you know in my perspective i'm like where the hell do you get this confidence from you know <laughs> but then i think you you reach that place where you realize if i give people an opportunity to define for me what like i'm ugly i'm dumb i'm this they will take that opportunity and they will not even say ati anata fadali you get so if then there's that then have that confidence that you are who you are if you if people don't call you ugly ni sawa in fact i'm the ugliest and make it a Africa. thing you get what i mean and run with it, and run with it yeah people. but being dumb even uh, uh, solomon solomon could have asked for anything in the goddamn world mm. but he chose wisdom why because with wisdom you can get anything have you ever farted in a lift and pretended it's not you well not pretend uh, i farted and then i was like oh my god <laughs> you guys need to get out of here right now. <laughs> no, things coming. happen guys things happen <laughs> things happen and i think it was like when i was working at, at homeboys at galana plaza yeah. heading up and uh, i think i was with kerry mm. but like in istanbul ni chalana and drew am say so I was going up the elevator and I think I you know Julia in the previous day you we can do the cooking washa washa v2 is on my chemicals mazizi king ya kwatumba alafu na chakula at some point yeah so it just happened and yeah. but you see now sanda aibu ya nini mzee wako ni boy wako hakuna it's just for in fact I'm good I warned him that something bad is about to turn on <laughs> so he was ready but he wasn't and we had like five more <laughs> five more floors to go it was crazy yeah so he suffered yeah but but we could say you know what uh, last question what is one thing that we don't know about you i just say mama lipo bote one There's so many. There's so many. Y'all don't know shit. Like y'all don't know shit. Like <laughs> I see the the kind of things people say about me and I'm just say ah I'm beautiful moving. beautiful beautiful. I love it. I love cuz it, it takes you away from and gives me freedom to be able to to be whoever I want to be. There's so many things. I think I'd say I believe aliens are real. I believe in uh 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 extraterrestrial life. But not in the way that you know people think like we are your leader you know <laughs> take us we have come to conquer i, I don't think it's any, i don't think it's anything like that i think you know and looking at covid for example right um something that comes from nowhere and just takes over you know so i think alien life for example imagine if someone has gone to space like this um, sp- astronauts who are constantly every day like every month is astronauts going to space who we never even care about you know we never think about we have so many satellites across our 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 stratosphere and you could be out there maybe there's a virus you get that's a life form a bacteria that's a life form it comes into earth and morphs into something else and maybe it's the most dangerous disease that is an alien form but aside from that if you check what uh, pentagon spoke about a month ago they've been denying that there are no ufo's now they've accepted the footage is real those the, the, and then it's technology like billy atuna technology kai yo una ni get so even if you want to sit here and say and i don't you know i don't and, and i know a lot of people have a problem with that because they're like so where does god fit in i believe god is the maker of the universe and everything and everything in it so you can't you know have your small idea and your 5 million people there that believe in it and so that's true that's your belief and that's what make, is making you survive on this planet and there are people who believe in Jesus and people who believe in Buddha and there are people who believe in trees and there are people who believe in nothing but at the end of the day facts are facts there are alien forms that we don't know of and identified flying objects and they are not like kq hapa taijaona kitu kai hiyo ikitu inafanya tu pa 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 it's flying like that what's that yeah so I I I'm I'm very curious about that. I love I love to know what's outside of our, our planet. And it doesn't scare. You. No. Why should it scare me? I I'm part of this universe. I was cre- the same particles that were used to create 
the leaves and the everything is the same particles that were used to create me. I'm part of this universe. Yeah. Thank you so much. For Thank you for really that. Really appreciate. Sausage. Really, really appreciate. Wow. I appreciate it as well. Namaswali ngumgumu. Shana to tell you, tell you, guy. It's been real guys katika Billy O'Clock. Thank you so much kwa box. Shukran sana za dhati kwa jasiri wea. Kwa hii look amazing tu sana. Wapate sasa mall pale katika Moy Avenue. Mikuwa kubwa sana. Until next time buwana. And we are out. <laughs>